Hi. Fan Mail Friday. With Jamie. Been a while. I have neglected people. <laughs> I haven't gotten too much, but I honestly haven't even opened this stuff. It has been sitting. So uh, I gotta open it now. I have time in between waiting for the air conditioning line that doesn't fit. That's my air conditioning update. Here we go, more air conditioning issues. The line blew out. I got an eBay replacement. The eBay replacement I bought was incorrect, doesn't fit. Matt lost his mind. I'm mad. Anyway, Angry. Which one should I open first? You choose. Um, the one with the towels coming out of it. The one that's already open. Yeah, I'm gonna come over here, so... You should just get your little rolly chair that I got you that just sits there. Hey Matt, it's Paul Bridge here. I was the one that asked you for Cameron's P.O. Box to send him ring compressors. While I'm in the middle of a Don't BS Me build on 07 GMC Canyon, also have a 09 Pontiac G8 that's LSA supercharged. Wow, Paul, you're a maniac. I can't wait to till you get to the G to point to, what I, I, I've read that incorrectly. We're gonna just skip ahead. I watched a ton of your videos and noticed you don't have a digital 3.8 torque wrench. Oh, oh. So I know you probably won't use it, still I'm sending it to you. I, of course, will use anything you guys send. If you don't, maybe pay it forward to someone else that will. I just upgraded to a 3 8 with torque angle that doesn't have the feature. This one doesn't have the feature. There's some other goodies in the box as well, anyways. Thank you for all you put into their community. You have definitely inspired me, and I'm sure thousands of others. Paul B. Very nice, Paul B. And you are a nice guy. You sent Cameron all that stuff. He yeah, he was sent... really nice. There's a ton of rags in here. And they're white. I hate all... those red ones. It is all rags. I can't believe they're white. Always useful. The red ones bleed and out. Paul is a tape expert. He taped the shit out of this. Yeah. Don't cut yourself. What's an episode of Mail Time without Jamie telling Matt not to cut himself? Christmas trees. Are you I was serious? Just complaining about not having Christmas trees. Wait, didn't I just buy you Christmas trees? We just bought twenty of them. Look at all those. Yeah, I was gonna it? say, didn't I just buy you Christmas trees? Didn't they just come in from Amazon? Yeah, I got that fancy asshole some Christmas trees. Yes. So now I because it pained him to do the checkout for under ten dollars on Amazon. So rags, rags. <laughs> More Christmas trees. All well, oh. different size. Oh. A Chevy badge. Oh, it's it's gold. More Chevy badges. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll put one on my Kia. Really fuck with people. A snap-on digital torque wrench. Oh More Chevy god. badges. Here goes my viewers. More. Oh, a flexual badge. That's like your favorite. I'm gonna stick that on the G. I know What's you actually here? will. It's all just rags. There's so many rags. I guess he had room in the box and was like, "Fuck it," and just put all these in there. Is that a tool that I actually didn't buy you? Yeah. Well, I bought the... I have a torque wrench. You have the big expensive the one. The Harbor Freight one, and I've always used that. And then, for testing purposes, I bought... Testing purposes. I bought the Matco because it has the peak. It'll tell you, like, when you do the stretch bolts, it says to do 15 foot-pounds and then 90 degrees. And I always wondered, where did that just end up? Like, 51 foot-pounds on a rod bolt. So then I just go to that. Wow! That's exciting, a snap-on 3 8 That's definitely, and now I'm I'm losing subscribers by the minute here. Fancy mechanics. You've changed. You've changed. You know you want these Chevy badges on your Jeep. No, I, right. just, I just want the Chevy badges. Derek Gaskins. Oh boy. As always. Probably one of the nicest people you'll ever meet in your life. Unlimited awesomeness. I asked him for some G35 parts because I was missing like my license plate stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, here's the license plate brackets. I only have one bolt in my license plate. Is that a mount? Or bushings or something? Differential carrier bushings. Yeah, it look like bushings. For a G. I've heard that these go bad and the diff like will dance around and go wheel hop and shit. So oh, that's I put fun. these in them too. Awesome. Thank you, Derek. What's and that? And the ABS sensor, because mine's bad. The ABS light's on all the time. Oh, so you can take those dash lights out, but you can't take the dash lights out of the truck? Yep, correct. Oh, thanks. Chris Ortiz can't even figure out how to get the dash lights out. I don't know what to tell you. Chris Ortiz is a fake tuner. He's not a real person. Even the people at the 
dealership are like, oh, I don't know if we can do it. I'm like, I thought you guys were Chevy guys. What's that I from? I cannot see. Oh, it says loud valves. Oh, that was the box that I picked up that the Andrew. guy. Every time I build the car, Andrew sends me loud valves. He knows how much I love them. Let's see where we're at. Oh, this is exciting. Hey Matt, wanted to send you a little package for the G48. These loud valves, unlike the boost activated, will not work automatically. These have to be operated with the switch solenoid combo, but you can close them at will. These can be used on naturally aspirated or boosted vehicles. They require about 15 inches of vacuum to fully open. If you don't have enough vacuum, let me know. I probably don't. I probably have 8 or 10 inches of vacuum. Let me know. I'll swap them out for boost activated. Solenoids normally closed. Nothing happens. These are a new product, and I would love to hear your feedback. As always, we have a 10% Sloppy Mechanics discount code using code GETSLOPPY. All uh -huh. one word, no spaces, all capital letters he has here. So that if anybody wants loud valve stuff, you can get a discount. Thanks for all you do. Love watching and learning. Install instructions, Well, You guys don't need to know the instructions. Wow. Where's the nitrous kit? What's that? What happened to the nitrous kit? It's on the car. Oh, it is still? Yeah, I'm going to spray the, the 4-8 before I put the blower on. Or we'll just put the blower on and spray it all. Oh, and he gave me exhaust piping, too. Look at that little guy. What is that, a two and a half or three? Something like that. Awesome. All exhaust pipe. Oh, he gave me Y pipes. That's incredible. Well, we'll have to fit those on someday and see if they make a difference on this build. Or I'll put them on some turbo stuff. So, that is all for mail time. Hope you guys enjoyed.